Hello everyone. In the previous video, we successfully implemented our all of the CRUD like we created our uh, to do and edit and update and stuff like that. So now the time is to improve our route code. So how Laravel 9 makes is shorter. So let's watch it. So here you need to type first a uh, route because we are going to uh, add this uh, a group route. Why I'm adding this group route? Uh, let's take eye on these uh, routes. So what is the same in this route? So we have to do a prefix is same for all. So I'm going to add this prefix here, not here, right? So route and here you need to call a prefix. This is available in the previous versions. So this is not new. So here you need to type uh, to do's, oops, to do's. And then I'm going to also now you don't need this so let's remove this one okay so now it's become shorter right so here and what's next so this to do is also repeating so let's remove this to do okay to do and how you can add this here in this so there is a as method so in the as you need to define to do's and uh, make sure you need to add this dot here why because when we add this to do's we are uh, after this do's we are adding this dot here that's why we are adding this dot here okay great so now i'm going to group this with a function it's a closure right and like uh, this, I'm going to copy all of the ones and uh, add them into there, right? So let me make this, so here, and yes, now it looks very cool. Why? Because now it's simpler and our code is shorter. So this is uh, coming from the Laravel 8 and stuff like that. So what's, uh, what's new in the Laravel 9? So we are also repeating this to do controller everywhere so let's add this controller here so i'm going to add this a method of controller it's available in the laravel 9 because we are in the laravel 9 so what is the controller name so i'm going to use this to do controller and hit enter and type class here so this controller is now added here so we don't need to add this controller here anymore so let's select all of the controller and remove them from there and then also remove this array symbol from there okay so now looks at your routes how much shorter is this so we have index url then we have index method and we have this index naming route so great it's looking very much pretty so let me also remove this thing here Okay, so let's go here and give it a refresh that our code is break or not. So let's click on this uh, create and uh, create a new to do here. So submit it and uh, yes, it's submitted and we did not lost any functionality. So we successfully improved our code. So hope you like this series. So if you are interested to learn more about the Laravel, subscribe the YouTube channel and stay connected. Bye bye.